How's it going everybody? Tim here with Off Track. This is our second episode of the season. So I said in our last episode that we would have some big news coming up with uh, life and things like that that's going to affect pretty much everything that we do, uh, everything with Off Track and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that news is that I actually left my job last week. So if you uh, used to work with me and you are watching this now, just let me just know that I love you guys and I'm going to miss you a ton. Uh, so yeah, I left my position as a creative director and so now we are going to be doing off-track stuff, uh, freelance photography, videography, full-time. I've actually been going to school uh, for the past year for cinematography, so I'm halfway through my bachelor's on that one. And yeah, that's uh, that's just the next stage of our life. So that gives us a lot more time and room to do things like this, go out, explore, and just enjoy life, and go out and, and try to do my own thing for a while. So that was the big news there. It happened, and uh, it's exciting and frightening. But with that news, what better way to celebrate then to test out this guy. This is the all top. I don't even know. Air Jack? Okay, so we're gonna try this out. We literally just bought it off of Amazon, so we haven't unpacked it, taken a look, spread out all the pieces to see what's there. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna see how easy it is to go through kind of the motions with it and, and see if it really does work. So again, this is the all top. Air Jack, and uh, let's see what we got. Okay. So first off, it does come with some gloves, it looks like, so that's handy. Uh, all the straps. And the big inflation piece. Okay, so tear this open. Look like I'm going to have to take my own gloves off to do this. So there. There we go. Pretty big, good size. And comes with directions on the back. Okay, so it comes with two pieces. This part is going to hook into your exhaust pipe. And then this will hook into this, leading it to more of an extension. Or you have the second way that you can do this, where you have the Schrader valve here. And if you have an on-air, on-vehicle air cut. <laughs> so the second way that you can do that is if you have onboard air already, like an air compressor, you have the Schrader valve that you use as, as an adapter and you can just use your onboard air. So it seems pretty straightforward with what we need to do in order to use this equipment. So I'm gonna go set the parking brake and we're gonna see how this works. What are you testing right now? <laughs> so it's a little chilly. <laughs> it's time to test my <laughs> heated steering wheel and warm up a little bit. Aren't you supposed to be lifting the truck? <laughs> I put the parking brake on, so oh, that's gonna be next. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, you just gotta wait for the parking brake to set. <laughs> Waiting for the parking brake. Right, break. you're just stabilizing the vehicle by holding onto your heated The talent is cold right now, the, the talent, talent is cold. Is okay, cold. this is how the season's gonna go, okay. <laughs> All right, well, Cannon, Cannon. Yeah, there you are, do you wanna jack the truck up? Do you like lifted trucks? Come here. Okay, so from reading online, it says that this works best for vehicles with a single exhaust pipe and straight exhaust pipes. I have neither of those. I have turned down and I have dual exhaust. So we're gonna try this out. Worst case scenario, we will use the onboard air, but we're gonna we're gonna test this out and see if it will in fact work for us, which means possibly it's gonna work for you. Okay. So the other thing I wanna point out on here is if you'll notice, it's got these little um, spikes at the bottom. So that's gonna help in grabbing the ground underneath to keep this stable. We're gonna hook up this piece to the inflatable. And this just goes in and then you're gonna turn clockwise just to get that locked in there like that. <laughs> Thanks dude, excuse me. All right, so it might be accurate what they say that this is not the way to do it with this vehicle. So I, like I said before, I do have the the dual exhaust and the turn down exhaust. So as you can see, there's nothing coming through here. It's not inflating and it's not going towards that piece down there. So we're gonna try it with the onboard air instead. See if that works.
Thank you for helping. Hi. Hi. All right. That is tight. There's a lot of air coming out of there. So it seems that the Schrader valve does not have a good uh, seal against the, the airline at all. So there's a lot of air leaking out underneath here. So where the two are connected, there's quite a bit of air coming out. So we're gonna see how long this takes to inflate. We could see that there is a little bit of air going in, but this might take, this might take a while. So we'll see and we'll kind of give it a time frame and see what it looks like. So now that we've put some air into it, just to be on the safe side, it does come with these protection mats. So we have added one of those in just to make sure that this isn't hitting like the exhaust pipe or anything weird. Complete failure right now. The bag has slipped. Okay, so we are trying this in real world conditions. So we're out in the snow right now. So it's gonna be a little slick and a little icy. So far, not going super well. Um, we're not in just a regular garage, so it's not ideal conditions at all. And this is, this is what we're working with. Okay, so what we ended up doing is we went back to the exhaust pipe and what we did is we took one of the pieces of the sealant and covered the other exhaust just to see if it would inflate. It did inflate. So once we covered the second exhaust, we were getting enough pressure to inflate the hose. However, it was not inflating the bag at all. And if it was, it's gonna take a very long time and we're gonna be out here for the, the next 24 hours. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back. We're gonna try this with the FJ, um, which is a straight pipe, single pipe exhaust. Um, and then we'll kind of piece the two together and do a comparison. Those of you with Land Rovers out there, this is probably not gonna be the best system for you. You can see that we've got some issues. So we are packing up right now. We just got done testing out that uh, Alpro Air Jack. And really it's like the same thing as, you know, the ARB version. There's a bunch of different brands out there for different prices. And I don't think we would have had different results if we got the ARB version. It's really just, it's, you have to have the right setup for it to work. And clearly it was not working for us. So hopefully that shows also that we are doing like real reviews on things. So we're not sponsored. This wasn't a paid post or anything like that. But even if it was, we'll always show actually what happens and, uh, and what our thoughts are. And it could have been something that we did wrong. So um, I think in the future here, maybe in a couple of weeks, we'll have a video out doing the FJ as well, uh, which I think will have a lot better results. We won't have to hold the pipe. Uh, it'll have a single outlet, so a lot better airflow and it's running all over the place. Um, and we probably won't have to use the compressor. So I'm also gonna take a look at that valve on the tank itself because it was leaking a lot of air. So it just seems like it might be loose or needs some adjustment. Uh, Cause then that would help a lot as well if the compressor works, so. But it could just be a Land Rover problem. Let's head back down. We're not helping at all today. <laughs> So <laughs> we're at the bottom of the hill. I just want to say goodbye. But uh, as we head out of here, I'm going for a little one wheel ride. So I'll see you guys later. If you, uh, if you like our content, like our video, then uh, please hit that like button, drop us a comment so that we know what kind of stuff you guys want to see in the future. And uh, we are planning a couple of big expeditions this year. So right now it's just kind of our vlog stuff. But anyways, we'll miss you guys and we'll see you next week.